Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to the Muse Day vlog. This week is going to be the fixing up my bike for winter edition. Also, little friend is coming over later. Gemma is coming over later. We may go for a walk. Other stuff's gonna happen too. But today I need to get my bike fixed up for the winter. You can see Alice over there. Um, I'm queuing up some music here on my computer. I, like many other people, don't have a home stereo. Uh, my home stereo is my computer, which is why it was worthwhile for me to upgrade to the nicer Logitech speakers with the sub on the floor and so on and so forth. We're queuing up some music and we're going to do some work on the bike today. Cool beans. Um, last winter I rode Alice all winter. I put some studded tires on her and uh, that proved to be a bad idea since it cost me a buttload of money to fix her up in the spring. Um, I went through two bottom brackets and two chains during the winter. That was, you know, bottom brackets are 50 bucks a pop, chains are 35. Uh, so, you know, that wasn't exactly cheap. And then we got to spring and I had to put yet another new chain on it as well as a middle chain ring and a new set of rear cogs in the back being 10 speed. Um, it's narrower than 8-speed and 9-speed, which makes everything less durable. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 10-speed. We won't even get started on that because uh, I'm not a huge fan of 10-speed. But everything's 10-speed nowadays. So, you know, buying a new bike with 8-speed or 9-speed just doesn't really happen anymore. Everything's 10-speed, so you, just, you have to live with it. Okay, so I know you don't like it, but you're going to have to live with it because that's what it is now. Um, I don't really like it, but... What can you do? Cool beans. So I decided to pull Betty out of the shed. I still own Betty. I haven't ridden her in a year and a half, but I decided to go back to single speed mountain bike for the winter because it's going to be a lot cheaper. Um, Betty needs brakes and grips and a new chain and spiffing up the drivetrain, and she'll be okay. The cassette and chain ring that's on Betty, the single speed is good um still get another winter's worth of life out of that yet so and she's got knobbies and stuff like that on her so we're gonna go ahead and do that so first thing we need to do is remove these brakes and grips and get those ready to go on to betty and then alice will go away probably until vacation time and then i will completely tear her all apart and rebuild her like i do every year pretty much every year while i'm on vacation um, I will completely tear apart and disassemble almost down to the bare frame and then rebuild my entire bike every year. It's one of the reasons why my bikes tend to last so long is because I don't just tune them up. I rebuild them every single year. Um, just, you know, get everything clean, well greased, so on and so forth. It makes things last a lot longer. So I tend to do that every single year while I'm on vacation. It also gives me something to do when I have a month off. So cool beans let's get to work hey guys what's going on I am back we made some progress we got the brakes and stuff off of this one I put my other brake levers on there that I'm going to use with my cable disc brakes and we got Betty over here and we're making some progress we got it cleaned up we got the brakes on but not adjusted and we need to install a chain still but other than that we are pretty much done and in the meantime, we're going to have to finish this later. Because, oh no, I almost dropped the camera, Gemma. Gemma's here! Hey, Jim. Hey. Are you listening to music? Are we listening to music? You ready? Are you ready? Dude. What happened? Where'd it go? Go. Where'd the music go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Do you want to come back? <laughs> you love music, don't you? You're a little dancer. Are you a little dancer? You! <laughs> I 
I don't care if this gets flagged for copyright, because that's just ridiculously cute. It's all done working on the bike. It's done. Pretty much done. Except uh, the drivetrain's good. Back to single speed. So on and so forth. We're all good there. The front brake's good. The back brake sounds like it's scraping. I don't know why or what's scraping, but that doesn't sound too healthy. I called Rob and he was like, are the bolts rubbing? Because sometimes when you mount it, the bolts can go through and touch the rotor. As far as I can tell, the bolts are not touching the rotor. So we're going to slip out and let Rob take a look at it. And hopefully we can get that to stop scraping. And then we'll be good for winter. So there we go. Cool beans. Time to go to the bike shop. Cool beans, we made it and we're all done. Rob gave it a little tweak. And it still rubs a little bit. That's because the rotor's bent. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I could replace the rotor, but nine times out of 10, even a brand new rotor out of the box is slightly warped. Uh, finding perfectly straight and perfectly true rotors is just about impossible. Um, I have four, I have two sets of wheels at home with probably three spare rotors, and they're all warped. So, we're not really gonna worry about it too much. We'll just ride the way it is. It's a winter bike anyway, so it's really not all that cool beans. Uh, I'm gonna slip home. I put some chicken in the oven for dinner, and uh, we're gonna have some chicken, roast potatoes, corn, that kind of stuff. That's gonna be pretty tasty. And uh, I'm horribly out of shape with this 3460 uh, single speed thing. I'm horribly out of shape. This is gonna take some getting used to again, which is probably a good thing I did it now and not in the middle of the winter because this is going to take a little bit of getting used to, so there you go. So we almost made it home, except I had to make a pit stop because, you know, it's Monday. That means Tim Hortons. You know, you can't go on Monday without Tim Hortons because otherwise the RCMP will hunt you down and make you go to jail because you didn't go to Tim Hortons. It's a Canadian law. It's not, I totally just made that up, but I really wanted Tim Hortons, so we had to stop and get some Tim's. Back home again, and it's time to make dinner. I'm currently working on it. As you can see, I'm working really hard sitting in this chair, doing nothing. Actually, I just put a few hours of pizzas in the oven and started the water for corn. So now I'm just waiting for the water to boil. Fiora is over here playing some L sword. I was just playing with her. But, I had to go and finish making dinner with yours, playing some L-Sword. I was playing with her, but I had to go and finish dinner. Right now I'm playing as my level 30. Your little <laughs> pony? I'm playing as my level 30. Oh, you're level 30? I thought you said my little pony. No. I'm going crazy. I've decided to leave Alice over there. Drop. For now. Alice? Since, you know, Alice, that's my bike's name. Alice. Alice. The other one that I fixed up today, her name's Betty. Betty Boop. Let's call her Betty. Yeah. This one's Alice. You're weird. From Alice in Wonderland. Because Alice we go own. on adventures together, my bike and I, Fjord. We go on That's adventures King. together. It's her so her name, name is Alice. Don't kill her. That name. Do you understand? I do. Do you understand? I wasn't listening. And someone That's is, quite normal. Someone is called Dope Killer. Really? One. I've decided to leave Alice over there for now. I really don't know where to put her for the winter. I guess so that killer so For now, dope. she's gonna stay over there until the I figure so something dope. else out. I used to have dope. hooks to hang a bike from the ceiling. Oh I'm not entirely gosh. sure my ceiling would really support the bike. So, there you go. Also, everybody, cool tell Tony to play Five Nights at Freddy's with me again. I've already played Five Nights at Freddy's twice. <laughs> I see everybody, no reason to play it again. leave a comment telling Tony to play Five Nights at Freddy's again. Yeah, I think twice is enough. I'm really quite I've sure. played it like a hundred times. Here's the difference. No. 
You're I right. was playing it with. And I have many other things. My friends. Than just play. And we days. recorded it, and she was terrified. So we, that. I didn't. Um, Maybe I didn't we'll play post it, that. but someone Sometimes. else did. Maybe we'll post it sometime. It was one of her family members, and it was funny because he was not scared at all, and Taya was just dying. She was dying. She was. Oh, was she? That sounds pretty normal. Time to head out to the kitchen. See if the water boiled or not. Good news. Water boiled. Corn is now on. She has the chicken. Grab a pot over. This, this lid's really hot. There's our chicken, which looks wonderful and it smells fantastic. Potatoes are in the oven still, as are Fiora's mini pizzas, which are not done yet. When everything's done, I'll come back, we'll finish up the vlog, and I'll show you dinner. Cool beans, I got my dinner. Trista told me to be careful with the pepper because it comes out fast. This is what she told me. I said, you realize you're talking to somebody who does this for a living. I was being considerate. Mm. I, th I suppose I should be thankful for that. Mm -hmm. I suppose uh -huh. I should be thankful for that. So. Uh -huh. There you go. There is dinner, roast chicken baked potatoes, and some corn. It's gonna be tasty and healthy and insanely easy. Um, it's one of the reasons I love making this is it is ridiculously easy. You throw the chicken in the pot, frozen, you don't even have to defrost it. Just take it out of the freezer, throw it in there, put a little bit of water at the bottom of the roast pan, throw it in the oven at 325. And then about an hour later, throw some potatoes in with it, wrap them up in foil, throw those in. And flip your chicken over, put a little spice on top. I like to use the urban pepper spice and the Cajun. I alternate between the two of them, just, you know, for fun. And then leave it again. I go back about an hour later, flip the chicken over, put a little more spice on it. And an hour later, you're done. About three hours total for the chicken in the oven. It comes out super moist and tender and really, really nice. And, um, you know, the spice gets right roasts right into it when it's covered with the roast pan so tastes really good and it's pretty healthy if you buy boneless skinless breast there's not a whole lot of fat in there so it's pretty healthy and tasty and yummy cool beans thanks for watching i will see you guys on bonus clip thursday i don't anticipate myself doing a whole lot more tonight probably just watch uh the killing on netflix i started watching that um because i'm caught up on virtually everything else I was watching. So I went back to watching. I started watching a new show called The Killing. I'm on episode three. So far it's okay. I'm not really huge into it yet, but it's just getting going. So hopefully it'll pick up. And, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Cool beans. See you guys on Bonus Clip Thursday. Thanks for watching. Rock on.